And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a zoom text effect. It's often used in intros. Let me show you how it's done. It's quite simple. I right click in my projects menu, new item, kind of mat. I use the standard size for YouTube videos, so 9020 times 1080 and I keep the defaults for rest. Let me pick a different color and I rename that to background. Confirm by clicking on OK. Put it in a timeline, so it's a simple background now. You can resize it by default. It should be five seconds long. Now I'll use the type tool. I'll find it right here because I've got the editing layout active. And now I left click on my preview window and I type in something. And then I resize it with the cursor tool. But let me go to window and open the essential graphics menu. Under edit, I can now adjust this text Put it in the center, for example. You can still size it up and down. But I want to have it a little bit more to the bottom. You can also use a different font or a different style. But I'm fine with this, so let me close the panel. The text element is now here in the timeline. It has the same size as the background. I'm going to keep that. And now it can be found here in effect controls. If you can't find that, go to window and open your effect controls and you should find your text element. On the motion, you will find the scaling. Go to the starting position, click on the clock icon, then move a little bit forward, create a second keyframe, go back to the first one and size it up. I'll use 1000, so 10 times the size. Depending on your CPU, you need to render it first to see the effect applied. It's a short clip, so we can actually do this. So let me go to Sequence and I'll render it. But that's not fast enough, so I simply reposition the second keyframe. Now I have to render it again, otherwise we won't see the effect. But this better, but I still want to drag it a little bit to the left and make it faster. Let me zoom in a little bit right here. And that should be better position. In the scaling you can also see we've got it linearly, which is by default active, we can also select it, right click and then ease it out. And now it has a different dynamic, which might make it a little bit smoother. It can also look good if you leave your background empty at first and then add this text element a little bit later. Another detail that you can add is an effect called Directional Blur. Just find it and you can drag and drop it on your text element. You can now find it here in Effect Controls for it. And we need to blur length. Go to the starting position. Click on a clock icon, then jump to the second keyframe of the scaling. Create a keyframe for the blur length as well by clicking on this element. Go to the first one again and you may want to add like Let's say a value of 20. So for the second one, it's still zero. That's important. Let us once again render it. And now it zooms in and in the beginning it's blurry. And this is how you can create this typical text zoom effect in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.